You are about to become the biggest brand in racing. Hi Kiki, I'm Haris from MBO Cinemas. Hi. Anyway, first of all, welcome back home to Malaysia. It's always nice to know there's a fellow Malaysian working in Pixar Animation Studios, one of the biggest studios in the world. So actually the first question I would like to know is that, how do you land a job at Pixar Animation? So, I grew up in a JB mm -hmm. and after, it's actually a quite a long story. So I okay, grew up yeah. in JB and, uh, and then I went to study um, animation, a computer animation in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And then after I graduated from Taiwan, uh, I couldn't find a job in Malaysia. So I had to, um, so I found a job in, in Singapore mm -hmm. and also in um, Shanghai, China. Then I worked for a couple of years as a character animator. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, I found myself that um, I want to, I'm ready for the next challenge. And I was very lucky to be able to uh, reapply the graduate uh, program and, and in United States mm -hmm. uh, in Savannah, Georgia. Yep. And so I went to study in US since 2008. And on that same year, Pixar sent the recruiter um, to my school to look for the uh, new talent. And at that time, I don't think I didn't thought that I was uh, ready. But mm. one of the, my uh, teacher um, saw something great on me, and she pushed me um, to apply for the for the internship. And so I give it a try, and then I submit my demo reel, yep. and then the recruiter love it. And so she brought back to um, the demo reel with all the selected work and then reviewing it with all the Pixar supervisor and leads. And then uh, I got the internship at Pixar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think your teacher did a great job asking you to go for the interview mm -hmm. at Pixar. If not, we wouldn't have Cast3, Monster University, all those that you're involved in. But for Cast3 specifically, you're involved as a shading artist, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, actually, most of us, including myself, would like to know what actually shading artist does. So my job uh, <coughs> as a, a character shading artist is um, I in charge of the look of the the surface on the characters, mm -hmm. and then so my job is like to um, create um, like the colors or like the textures uh, on the character, but also including um, the materials property of the character. So. For example, that how shiny is the character, or is it shiny, oh. or like is it dull, and um, what type of the skins of the character, or what type of the materials of the clothes that they're wearing. Mm -hmm. um, but in this case, in the cars movie, uh, we know that our characters are cars. So my job is uh, to define that how shiny is this car, what type of the paint work that has been uh, done uh, to create these cars. So those are my jobs. Mr. Sterling, what is this about? Your legacy. Every time you lose, you damage yourself. What's your best memories in working for Cost3? So my best memory uh, is really um, cre creating the Crazy 8 um, background character mm -hmm. project. Mm -hmm. So this is a movie I first time uh, to be uh, uh, assigned as a shading uh, team leader. Mm. So my job is to, together with another two team member, to yep. be able to create about 60 uh, different cost variants in a very short period of time. And uh, I have to be come up with the idea and design um, all uh, to match all these uh, uh, car that features that uh, in these uh, crazy eight scenes. Yep. So cars that are really, really aging, that cars doesn't take good care of themselves and then cars are super rusty and oxidated and I need to be able to apply all these uh, features on this character and using like a very efficient way and uh, create 60 of the different variants in a very short amount of time. Oh, it sounds a lot of work to be done. Yeah, yeah. it is, but it's also kind of fun for me, mm. yeah. Yep. Of all the cast characters in the movie, from first uh, until the third install, installment, mm -hmm. which characters represent you the most as a person? Um, I would say um, in uh, Cruz, which is the new character that in this mm -hmm. uh, cartoon movie. So I felt myself resonate with this character a lot, as uh, Cruz is a really uh, fun and smart girl yes. that who also 
grew up in a small town that has a big dream that she wanted to be come a racer and race with all the other cars but um, same thing like a lot of the um, people who chasing the dream um, sometimes they have their doubt moment that yep. they suddenly doesn't think that they belong to here or something that like they don't believe in themselves then they always need to have someone that um, they're really good that as a mentor to be there to guide them and push them a little yep. bit to the next steps. So for myself, it's the same thing that I see myself in cruise where um, as a female um, in this industry mm -hmm. and who also have a big dream that I wanted to chase. Yes. And But I never, um, although I've been uh, facing a lot of different challenges uh, along the way, but I was very lucky to be able to meet all different kind of mentor that mm -hmm. in different moment of my life that be able to help me uh, carry to this moment and bring me to the next steps. And so, yeah, so this character, I, I found that resonate a lot. Okay, great. Um, last question. We learned that, of course, we learned that you are Malaysian and you like to go to Pasar Malam. <laughs> <laughs> So we really like to know what kind of snacks do you always get at Pasar Malam? If you um, so for me, um, I really love going to Pasar Malam. I wish I get to go like, <laughs> like when the time that I'm here. Mm -hmm. So usually I really <laughs> like goreng pisang. Okay. And uh, also, um, like I really like to like drink the soul milk um, from the Pasar Malam. And in fact, I like to just eat all kind of food that in Pasar Malam like raw jacks and uh, all different kind of malicious food. Alright, yeah. great. Thank you for spending time with us today uh, for a short chat. So, hope to see you again next time I or your next you project. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Storm's chances of winning are 95.2%. Wow.